Hello everyone, Tough Monkey here. Now, I want to do something a little bit different today. Instead of doing a video about Gran Turismo or Dirt Rally or street racing on the iOS, I'm going to take a bit of a trip down Retro Avenue because uh, back in 1989, a game was released called Hard Driving. Now, it was released in arcades and uh, I used to go and play it in the cinema. Do you remember those before lockdown? Big building with films and stuff in it, yeah. Uh, it used to be about 20p for a go. It was a uh, sit-down arcade machine. Uh, you sat down in a Ferrari Testarossa type thing and you went round over a uh, fast speed track or a stunt track. And uh, it was okay for 20p. I used to absolutely love it. It was back in 1989 because I remember it because I went to watch Back to the Future 2 and that's when I first encountered it. That's by the by anyway. So, 20p, couple of goes, not a problem. Then it came out on the Sega Mega Drive a year later by Tengen, Tengen, however it's pronounced, uh, and it was 30 quid and I really, really wanted it. Uh, the problem was it could be finished very, very quickly. And the purpose of this video is to show you just how quickly this game could be finished because I've got the Mega Drive booted up behind you and uh, I'm gonna show you how quickly you could spend that 30 quid. So let's have a go. Okay, hard driving by Tengen, Tengen, on the Sega Mega Drive or Genesis if you're of an American persuasion. And that is it, you have a speed track, you have a stunt track. Down in the bottom left corner, you've got a time of one minute 40 to beat. All you have to do is do one lap of either the speed track or the stunt track, and you go on to play the Phantom Photon in a head-to-head -head duel. You can do it in one lap. So look at the menu, right. We'll drive on the left-hand side because I'm from the UK and we drive on the correct side of the road. Uh, difficulty, let's stick that up to hard. Then we go like this, start, there we go. And let's just get on with it, shall we? Okay, let's, uh, let's go with auto. Not got time for uh, manual gearbox here. Right, and start. Hey, we're off and running already. Right. Now, when you play the Phantom Photon, you have to do the stunt track. So, just so you get to see everything, I'm going to do the speed track here. We've got 1 minute 45, but we've got to do it in 1 minute 40. So, you get helpful speed limit signs saying how fast you can take certain corners. Sometimes they're maximum speed, sometimes they're minimum speed. No analog uh, control, so it's a bit zigzaggy. If you're on the road for more than 10 seconds, then that's your game over. And uh, oh yes, there is oncoming traffic, as you would expect to find on a stunt track. Now then, this is the speed track though, so you don't want to go too fast, otherwise you leave the ground and end up crashing. This game did have instant replays of your crashing, so you could uh, relive it in all its polygonal driving style. Got maximum speed around here in 90 mile an hour. Got a bit of extra time. There really isn't much to this game. Just go as fast as you can without spinning off or hitting anything. And there's an old coming car coming, better get out of his way. And that is a lap of the track done in, what was that, 1 minute 29. Now, that's it, I've actually qualified already. I don't need to go any further, so I'm going to run down the clock for the next 1 minute 15. So talk amongst yourselves and uh, we'll catch it up in a few moments. Okay, welcome back. We're into the last 10 seconds. All I'm just doing is running down the clock. I qualify, I did the qualification in under 1 minute 30, and I am already through to the final part of this game to play the Phantom Photon now. Here we go. Phantom Photon challenges you to uh, the championship lap. One lap of the stunt track. All you have to do is beat him in a head to head. No crashing. Only 10 seconds allowed in total off road. And if you win, future challengers will race me. So forget about. World Rally Championships, forget about Formula One World Championships, all about this. So press start, he's off and running already. He's over there, that's the Phantom Photon. All I've got to do is finish the stunt track ahead of him. This first corner is a bit tricky, you can quite easily spin off into the barn or hit that cow. Yes, that is a cow right there. So he's already making a run for it. See, we've got a speed limit of 60 mile an hour over here, so we've got to slow it down, otherwise you'll end up going nose first into the ground and crashing, and that's game over. Around here we've got a loop the loop, which in the qualifying mode is actually a two-way road, as you'd expect to find on a loop the loop. So can't go over 60 mile an hour here, otherwise you'll crash, slow it down a bit. 
can't go over 90 mile an hour down here. Otherwise you head butt that bridge. And then we've got a bank curve, which for some reason you can't go more than 40 mile an hour around. I'm sure the whole idea of a bank curve is to allow you to go faster around a corner, but there you go. Don't want to go off the edge, why you crash? Put your foot down for a little bit. Make sure Phantom Photon's still behind. More than 90 mile an hour around this corner. This is the last corner. And that's it. I've won. Yeah, that really is it. Game is finished. That was 30 quids worth of game finished in under three minutes worth of driving. How good was that? Now, I never actually bought this game. I really, really wanted the game. But I never got around to buying it, and I am so, so glad that I did, because that would have been 30 quid really wasted. Although, it is one of the only games I can actually put my full gaming name in. You normally have to do abbreviations, a three-letter three, three letter abbreviation. And there we go. Game finished. And you complained about Spain, Spain what, what band not in on the uh, App Store now. <laughs> See you next time.